what's the right way to drink whiskey? Should it be neat, with nothing added? On the rocks? With a little water? Liquor connoisseurs will fight you about the best way to take your whiskey. But recent chemistry research might help settle the score. Whiskey contains hundreds of compounds, alcohols, fatty acids, aldehydes, and esters. But one particular compound, called guayacol, helps give whiskey its smoky flavor. And the trick to bringing out that flavor has everything to do with water. Here's where the chemistry comes in. Researchers have shown that guayacol tends to float to the surface when whiskey is diluted to less than 59% alcohol. That's important because guayacol's smoky flavor is mostly smelled by way of evaporation, meaning that if whiskey is less than 59% alcohol, its guayacol will stay near the surface and evaporate up into your nose. And there's your delicious smoky flavor. So how does this settle the great whiskey and water debate? Well, it means if you're drinking whiskey that's more than 59% alcohol, you should definitely try cutting it with a little water. But here's the catch. 59% is crazy potent whiskey and pretty rare. Most common whiskeys are around 40% alcohol, which is already pretty dilute. The research suggests adding a little more water probably won't do all that much for the flavor. And ice actually slows evaporation, which means fewer flavors are reaching your nose. So ice isn't really crucial unless your whiskey's overpowering you. So case closed, drink your whiskey neat. Let's do just one more chemistry experiment. Pour yourself three samples of your favorite whiskey. Leave one alone, put a little water in the second, and put some ice in the third. Now close your eyes and take a sip of each. If you liked one of those sips the best, congratulations, you found the right way to drink whiskey.